My lord, I have settled into my quarters and fully acquainted myself with the ship. I am at your disposal. I should probably inspect those quarters, Captain. You'll find them spotless and in order, my lord. You'll also find that I'm fully trained in all aspects of operating this vessel. I can both navigate and pilot. If you're half as good at evading obstacles as you are my advances, then my ship is in good hands. I'm here to do a job, my lord. You wish to speak? Yes, my lord. I wanted to update you on the condition of your ship. It has responded extremely well to my optimizations. I'm pleased to report that we are operating at peak efficiency. I will accept no less, Captain. Of course, my lord. There will be no slippage. Your demeanor makes me tense, Captain. Work on loosening up. I see. Actually, my lord, I don't see. Is that an order, or are you testing my professionalism? I'm going to get a kick out of you. I hope to be of greater service than that, my lord. Permission to speak freely, my lord. Go ahead, Captain. There's a reason I was languishing on Balmora before you arrived. A decade ago, I served under Moff Broisk at the Battle of Druckenwell. Moff Broisk made a critical oversight that brought the fleet to the brink of complete defeat. I ignored his order and turned the tide to victory. I take it the Moff took exception to that. Your intuition is flawless, my lord. Broisk took credit for the reversal, which is fine. But then he court-martialed me. Darth Barris assigned me to Balmora or my career would have been over. Moff Broisk has blocked every transfer and promotion I've been up for since. It must have served Barris to keep you on Balmora. Clearly he was capable of advancing you. Well, I... I suppose you're right. But I was grateful to be wearing the uniform and helping an important Sith. I serve you now. I have no regrets. I'll return to my duties. My lord, I have been working on something in my spare time. You may be interested. Let me be the judge of that. Right away. Years ago, I was zeroing in on a notorious SIS agent called Voleran, when Moff Broisk recalled me to the Battle of Druckenwell. I had the spy cornered. I briefed Broisk so that he could send someone else to take Voleran out. He ignored the opportunity. This sounds like a personal vendetta. I'll admit, knowing how close I was to ending his career made languishing on Balmora all the more frustrating. But I take this on only for the good of the Empire. This spy has caused immeasurable losses. I know Voleran's signature. And by tracking his accomplishments, I've picked up his scent. I don't want to notice even a slight drop in your proficiency. Am I understood? You will see no change in my focus, my lord. I'll keep you abreast of my progress. My lord, my efforts to locate SIS agent Voleran have finally paid off. There is a small window of opportunity to confront him. I can handle the matter personally. Permission to intercept and bring him down. I'm sure you're pleased to begin your campaign to pay back Moff Broisk. My lord, this isn't personal. I seek the good of the Empire only. You'd be so much more attractive if you'd let your vindictive side show. I'll take it under advisement, my lord. The Empire will finally be served. I'll return shortly. My lord, I'm back from my mission. I'm pleased to report Agent Voleran's decade of espionage has been brought to an end. It is a great day for the Empire. Just another Republic spy. I'm sure there will be others. No doubt. But none that have caused the Empire such difficulty. 
Thank you for allowing me to pursue this, my lord. You could drop the stoic soldier routine when we're in private. Show me a little attention. I'm not sure what you mean. It's too easy to make you stammer, Captain. You better not pause like that in a life and death situation. I'm never at a loss in the heat of battle, my lord. It's not the heat of battle I'm worried about. Now, let's get back to our duties. By all means, my lord. My lord, I'd appreciate it if you could speak with Vet. Ask her not to disturb me when I'm working. Aren't you supposed to run this ship, Captain? And the crew? She's not wired for military precision. And there's no filter on that Twi'lek mouth. When I was tracking down Agent Volderon, she must have overheard me refer to Moff Broisk. And now she persistently pesters me about him. She keeps slipping his name nonsensically into conversations just to annoy me. Says she won't stop until I tell her why I hate the man. Red never ceases to amuse me. I hope you won't encourage her, my lord. It's neither appropriate nor in the Empire's interest to discuss the matter with non-military personnel. Besides, knowing her, the details of Broisk's collapse at Druckenwell and his and my subsequent conflict would only give her more fodder. You have my permission to handle her severely if you have to, Quinn. I understand. It is my responsibility. I will discipline her until she desists, my lord. My lord, I seek advice. As a military man, above all else, I value discipline, the chain of command, and uncompromising dedication to serving the Empire's interests. But there's a built-in dilemma. When my instincts tell me that a superior is jeopardizing the Empire, it makes my path less clear. That's a problem with the military. No matter what rank, no one should be above reproach. That has been a difficult lesson to learn. But it's tricky. The criteria to challenge a superior must never be softened. I stood by as Moff Broisk's random whims compromised countless missions. It is a mistake I refuse to repeat. Defying him ruined my career, but I should have done it sooner. No matter the consequences. You're seething with hatred for him. I can feel it. You'd like nothing better than to exact revenge. Revenge is a great motivator. Yet it often clouds judgment. I have no aspirations for personal glory, just glory for the Empire. And now for you. Your service to me should consume you. Every waking moment, my lord. I won't take up any more of your time. My lord, you've caused me some difficulty, and I'd like to confirm that it was unintended. Forgive me if I'm mistaken, but some time ago it seems you expressed an interest in me beyond our professional relationship. I've left you tossing and turning in your bunk at night, have I? In a manner of speaking, which is why I bring it up. I'll admit you have a knack for surprising me. I'm typically swifter on my toes. I should have immediately said that any personal involvement between us could cloud judgment and compromise your campaigns. If your spine is so weak, perhaps my interest has been misplaced. You are dismissed, Captain. Yes. Yes, my lord. My lord, I've been tracking a series of broken Imperial signals on an encrypted channel. Tremendous interference. I've identified the source, Major Ovech, commander of Moff Broisk's elite infiltrator unit. But that's all. Strange. That name continues to pop up. Yes, Moff Broisk oversees a large proportion of Imperial forces. I served with Major Ovech under Moff Broisk. The man is an unmatched officer. Moff Broisk's command ship does not respond when hailed. My gut says there's trouble. Permission to investigate further. I know you wouldn't waste time with anything that wasn't important. Thank you, my lord. My lord, 
I was able to clear the channel and get to the bottom of Major Ovich's relays. He's in a state of emergency. Patching him through now. My lord, your captain there is one in a million. I've given up hope anyone out there would hear my distress calls. I don't know what this is about. Well, let me tell you the horror story. Morph Broyes dispatched me and my officers to a secret weapons warehouse on Cato Nemoidia. Trouble is, it ain't a secret no more. We're holed up, surrounded by Republic forces. I'm trying to get Broyes to send the rest of my unit, but he's gone radio silent. It's worse than that, my lord. The Major's ship has been commandeered by Broysk's personal commandos and ordered to stay put. Fantastic! You've seen it a hundred times with Broysk. Better the cut, bait, and let good soldiers die than admit a mistake. Sounds more like Broysk wants you dead, Major. Any idea why? Same reason he demoted and exiled your captain, I'm guessing. I'm his only officer who's not shy about my opinion. Enemy was pausing between breaths, gearing up to charge again. Looks like the end of the line for me, but I'm not going out without a fight. Ovich, out. My lord, Major Ovich would be a terrible loss. I served on his ship, know it like the back of my hand. I can infiltrate and try to restore command to his men. Then they will be free to join the fight. You're going to take on an entire troop of commandos alone? A frontal assault would take too long and risk losing or damaging the ship. My plan is to infiltrate and liberate. I'll give you a full report when I return. My lord, returning from action. Pleased to report Major Ovech and most of his officers have been saved. I was able to infiltrate Ovech's starship and seize control of the operating systems. I identified where his men were being held, freed them and locked Mofbroisk's occupying force on the bridge. Ovech's men promptly rescued him. The moth must be pitching a fit. How does it feel to thwart your nemesis? My lord, I merely ensured that the great asset of the Empire wasn't squandered. Nothing more. Thank you for the opportunity. I'll return to my duties. My lord, thank you for your attention. I must officially request to be reassigned. Is this assignment too harrowing for you, Captain? No. I thrive on harrowing. But I am compromised. I'm forced to admit that thoughts of you have begun to... distract me. My feelings affect my ability to concentrate. I cannot, in good conscience, continue to serve. If you can't take it, Quinn, I'll deposit you back on Balmora to rot and never give you another thought. You can watch the Hollow Net for news on the real action. I'm going to kiss you now, my lord. I'm the one who does the kissing around here, Captain. Now, more than just duty and honor will be driving my work. You are still my underling, and you will do what you are told with extreme professionalism. You will always have that, my lord. My lord, I've just been informed that I have passed the trials for Captain. Second grade. What do you want, a medal? I don't believe a medal accompanies the distinction, my lord. I don't seek acknowledgement. It requires your approval to go into effect. It's a wonder the military gets anything done in a timely fashion. Speed it through, Captain. Very good, my lord. My lord, I've been dealing with a situation that's getting out of hand. Moff Broisk contacted the ship and was incensed to find me at the helm. He's been sending recorded messages that are progressively more nonsensical. He's always been scattered and aggressive, but now he seems completely unhinged. He hates you, Quinn. And now he finds that you're flourishing again. It plagues me if I am the reason he's become unbalanced. Tens of thousands of soldiers and some of our most critical campaigns are at the mercy of his commands. Nice to see your dander up. I wonder where it will take you. I just hope the man comes to his senses.
my lord. Mothbroisk's hollow transmissions have increased. They are beginning to disrupt operations. He's nearly incoherent. I can only assume some sort of dementia has set in. I have him on hollow right now. I believe it's going to take your personal touch to assuage the situation. Let me see this idiot for myself. Here he is, my lord. Flow the coop! Your new cage will be smaller and tighter. Coffin size! Urn size! In a locket or wear around my neck! He's unlikely to stop, my lord. He didn't even know he was on hold. That can well prove my point. My glory is mine! Mine! You're nobody! The man has lost all sense. As I said. Where's my blaster? I'll shoot your face! Personally! And again! Drakenwell won't save you! I could blow Balmora away! I'll blow Balmora away this time! Wait! What? Gone? Well, dear. There's a Sith on this. Why did you transfer me, Rajnik? I'll ship you off to Balmora too! Rajnik is his communications officer. This is how it's been. Rajnik, am I through? I'm through? Yes or no? I don't see. Is this broken? All I see is a Sith! It's like a space collision. You can't help but watch. Wait now. I'm understanding this. It was you, Sith, wasn't it? You dared to liberate the Admiral. Have you lost your mind? He calls me Admiral Malcontent. He seems to think that's my actual rank and name. Don't you know he's the one who lost the Battle of Talley? Broisk's earliest command. Before I was born. It was his blunder that allowed the escaped Jedi targets to flee Taris before the bombardment! Ancient history. Broisk wasn't even born. He sabotaged the Glory Space Station for crying out loud! I have no idea what that is. I hear him. I'm talking. His insubordination is lethal, paralyzing. It threatens the Empire. And you do nothing. You need to be muzzled, madman. Locked away before you do serious damage. You will not defy me. Fight his disease, Sith. Save yourself and deliver him to me for execution. Now! Are you listening? Quinn, end the transmission. Right away. It must be ended, once and for all. With Broisk in command, the Empire is in critical danger. I must implore High Command to do something about him. If there's anything I can do to help, I will. A prepared statement would be beneficial. Thank you. Captain, do you have news? How have your efforts with the Imperial High Command gone? Not well, my lord. I've gone as high up the chain as I can. No one will confront Moff Broisk. He's too powerful and entrenched. He will serve until he's killed or willingly steps down. And he will never willingly step down. It seems clear. I must deal with Broisk myself. Once and for all. Nice to know you're ready to do what needs to be done. This is your calling, Quinn. Get to it. I am ready, my lord. My lord, I've returned. I found Moff Broisk on a pleasure barge. He was on R and R while countless battles are raging. Despicable. I abducted him and brought him here to present to you. Stop! Traitor! You, Sith! I commandeer your ship! Your crew! I commandeer you! Mine! Now! Do you see who has bettered you? The man you wronged has you dead to rights now. No, never! Not possible! I shunned him! I exiled him! He was to waste away! You are my men now! I command you all! Kill! Kill yourselves! I have spoken! My lord, I've resisted all along, but this is personal. 
permission to execute the moth. By all means, the kill should be yours. As you command. You cannot kill me! You are nothing! I am a moth! Not anymore. No! Scabs! All oh, scabs! The body has been disposed of, my lord. No more of Moth Broisk's men will have to endure his whims and incompetence. Thank you for seeing this through. The Empire is better for it. My sentiment, exactly. I have completed my mission on Voss. The voice of the Emperor has been freed. Yes. We are again aware of the voice. Preparations are being made to secure a new host, but the rituals take time. You have done well, Roth. The Emperor is pleased. But time never pauses. Events are progressing faster. With the help of Armageddon Battalion, Darth Vauron has gained a foothold in the battle for Corellia. Everything now hinges on Vauron's survival. Varus needs him dead to be named the voice of the Emperor. Nothing else would matter if Barris was taken out. For now he is untouchable, but Vauron can grant you access to him. Barris has marked Darth Vauron for death. Assassins have been sent. Their missions must end in failure. We will learn more and brief you when you arrive on Corellia. My lord, I'm afraid we cannot go to Corellia at this time. The Empire has enacted a martial law blockade of the entire system. I do not like being told no, Captain. Believe me, I hate saying no, my lord. The Imperial fleet has been equipped with special transponder signal emitters. Any ship without this emitter sticks out like a sore thumb. Hmm. I've never heard about such an initiative. I've been monitoring Barris's communications, Lieutenant. He only implemented the order recently. Probably to keep us away from Corellia. Without a signal emitter with Corellia space clearance, we will be noticed the minute we enter the system. But I believe I have a solution. That's what I love about you most, Quinn. You're my answer man. It is a job that has come with great rewards. I intercepted a transmission granting Corellia clearance to a Class A starship not far from here. Lucky us. Quite. We can board the vessel and take their signal emitter. They won't part with it easily. We'll have to go in their guns blazing. A lot of fellow Imperials are going to die. That doesn't sit well with me either, Lieutenant. Nor with me, but it is a necessary evil. There are ways to minimize the casualties. I know the schematics of Class A starships by heart. I could accompany you on board and lead you directly to the transponder station. Just a suggestion, but it would help expedite things. My lord, I regret that our paths must diverge. Out of respect, I want to be here to witness your fate. I've got a bad feeling about this. Your senses have always been keen. It pains me, but this entire scenario is a ruse. There's no martial law and no special signal emitter. Barris is my true master. He had me lure you here to have you killed. After all we've been through together, I even helped you take out Moth Broisk. You've helped me immensely. I act today with a heavy heart. But without Barris, I'd have no career. I didn't want to choose between the two of you. But he's forced my hand, and I must side with him. Once you're gone, your crew will either join Barris with me, or be killed. I really thought you were smarter than this. I'll show you how smart I am. After all this time observing you in battle, I have exhaustively noted your strengths and weaknesses. These war droids have been programmed specifically to combat you. I calculate a near zero percent chance of their failure. You always did talk too much. 
I'm sorry it's come to this, my lord. What went wrong? I calculated precisely. You should be dead. After all our time together, have you not realized that I am unbeatable? I'm at a loss. I have betrayed you. Conspired with your most hated enemy. I don't expect your mercy. It's useless to defy me. I will keep you alive, and we will see if you earn my trust again. My lord, I'm... This is unexpected. Darth Barris would never forgive such a failure. If you will permit me to stay in your charge, my dedication to you will never come into question again. Trust is difficult to rebuild, Quinn, but I'm willing to try. I'll understand if things are different for a while. But this interruption has delayed you enough. I'm eager to return to the ship and put this behind us. The ship is through there. Prepare for departure. I'll join you shortly. Of course, my lord. One thing, my lord. Do you plan on telling the others what happened? No one else must know. It would compromise your ability to lead. Am I understood? I appreciate it, my lord. I will see you back at the ship. I'm fielding reports from across Imperial forces. Among the men, there's universal relief that Moff Broisk is no more. The rest of the Empire was passive. It sickens me. I was guilty of that for a long time. I do not feel conflicted in the least. Not about anything. Including you. I've held back long enough. Been too rigid, too inflexible. I won't suppress my feelings and desires any longer. You were too slow out of the gate, Quinn. Pursue me if you must. I know you're only testing me. Oh, really? But how can you be sure? Come with me to my quarters and I'll show you. Should be good for a laugh. I won't be deterred. I'm glad we got that settled. I'll return to my post. I hope to see you off duty again soon. Perhaps the mood will strike me again. Hmm. You switch gears remarkably quickly, my lord. My lord, standard system checks are all clear. The ship and crew are operating at peak efficiency. What about you, Quinn? Are you operating at peak efficiency? Not exactly. There's much I wish to communicate to you, but I'm waiting for a moment of privacy. We're so busy, the opportunity for privacy may not present itself for a while. Must not be very important. No, I'll give you the thesis statement. I'm falling in love with you. What's more, I think you're falling in love with me. Am I wrong? If you're lucky, you'll hear me say something similar someday. Then I hope to be lucky. Until then. I have something very important to ask you. My time is valuable. This had better be worth it. I'll let you judge.
there's nothing we can't achieve together. I'd be honored if you would marry me. I'll marry you, Quinn. You've made me very happy, my lord. In light of our new commitment, perhaps you should start calling me Malavai. When we're alone, fine. Around others, I will continue to call you Captain Quinn. That goes without saying. Your captain will return to duty now. Malavai will see you later. My lord, after all we've been through, the good and the bad, I am dedicated 100% to you and your legacy. I find myself thinking about the future. I look forward to training your disciples and perhaps our children someday. Are you debating whether or not to have children with me, Malavai? I want nothing more. If you desire it, it will be. I am ready. <laughs>